Our global challenges are inherently science-based. And to have this disconnect between scientists and the public is its a problem. So if we can bridge that through stories, through speaking about our common humanity, I think that's the first step. I'm really excited about this event. Lamonte is a nonprofit that invites people from the community to tell personal stories on stage without notes. We're all scientists here, right? Science Fail is an idea that was hatched a couple months ago. We thought it'd be so great to have scientists connect with the public in a way that really humanized science. And admitting failure is one of the things that makes us human. They took issue with my theory, my, my hypotheses. So why not have an event focused around storytelling about humanizing that for scientists and non-scientists alike. A great story told in the presence of other people can reduce the distance between those people to zero. We had 400 people try to get tickets for 200 spots. It sold out in less than an hour. I was a little unsure about uh, coming to this affair. What oral storytelling can do is it can bind people together in the moment. You can see this is a series of failures which lead to the progression of knowledge. I would estimate that of all the experiments I take part in and do, 95% are failures in that sort of sense. So for the past two years, I've been conducting a program evaluation. Presenting my story was an exhilarating experience. Um, it was beautiful. It was also a little nerve-wracking. He seemed to kind of withdraw, withdraw into himself. Look down at his hands. I don't know. I don't know. Needless to say, my data wasn't very good that day. I think the idea that if you fail, you kind of keep it to yourself is part of the culture of science. But really sharing it, you realize it's a common experience. Every story that we heard tonight had an upside to it. Something happened, it seemed devastating, and then we move on from it. That is success. The coolest part of this event is that it's a science experiment in itself. We are studying the reactions of the audience and then quantifying that and publishing it that in a peer-reviewed paper, making it science. Science illiteracy is going up within the general public, and that's really worrisome. My hope is that with this event, we get closer to the goal of engaging people in a lifelong learning process of science and making it relatable. That's really what it's about.